All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear now. Actually, I just listened to the previous one. It was fine. Not, you know, maybe there is a little bit from the microphone, uh, but I think the sound is good. Now we came back because there is somebody said. Uh, his name is Muhammad Aboud. He said the following. <clears throat> Where in the Quran it says that Jesus has no have no sin? CP liar prove it. Well, you see, I always say the best way to get Islam busted is Islam. Let us do it. So whoever says that Jesus is not a sinner, he is a liar. This is what Muhammad Abu said. That's wonderful. Which means if Allah or Muhammad say that Jesus is not sinner, that's mean they are liars. This is what he's saying. Let us see. <clears throat> this is the Quran speaking about Jesus, and then we will show you what your prophet said about Jesus. And then people will laugh at what you said. This is your Quran. This is your translation. I have nothing to do with it. He said, Nay, I am only a messenger from the Lord to announce to thee the gift of a holy son. And one of the things about the holiness, holiness never changed. In order to call somebody holy, he have to be always holy. Otherwise, you don't call him holy. And he cannot be holy anyway. And here you notice that the Muslims, they have a big problem. The Muslims always try to put Jesus down. They say how he can be God, but yet he is born of a woman private part. Which uh, for the Muslims, they say that will not make him holy. So why the Quran call him holy? Don't the Quran know that he is born from where? Or maybe Allah, he think that Jesus was downloaded from a file in the internet. So this is your God calling Jesus holy. So number one, Muhammad Abud, he proved to us that Allah is a liar, but this is not enough. Let us prove that Muhammad himself is a liar too, according to Muhammad Abud. In the judgment day, <clears throat> When the Muslims they come and ask the Prophet to intercede for them, there is a story about this intercession thing. And always Muhammad he remember that how great he is when he eating a goat. So let us read together what your Prophet said. Let me take the screen off so we don't hurt your eyes flipping pages. So we can find the hadith and people they can love. <clears throat> The hadith says and <clears throat> I will make you read with your own eyes so you can laugh at your prophet and you can laugh with me. Here we go. This is a hadith which is Sahih. Muhammad speak. Muhammad remember here how great he is in the judgment they will be. And he remember always those stories when he is eating or biting something. So here he was biting an arm of a goat. This was his favorite. And he said to them, do you know that I will be the leader of mankind in the judgment day? Look, Muhammad, he is eating the arm of a goat. And now this is the topic to lecture them about he will be the leader of mankind. Why? So what happened to Abraham, let us say? The Muslim, they say Muhammad is following Abraham. <laughs> uh, he is uh, following Adam. Uh, no, uh, uh, Muhammad will be the leader of all mankind. Okay, why Muhammad? And then he starts telling us a story. 
that when the judgment day come, each nation, they will go to their prophet. So they will go to Adam in the beginning. And they will say, Adam, please, you are our father. Allah, he spoke to you. Please intercede for us. And don't you see how trouble we are in trouble? So Adam will say to them, ha, misfortune, I cannot do that to you because my Lord is so angry and I did uh, disobey him. I ate from the tree. So Adam, he say, I cannot intercede for you because I commit sin. Then they will go to Noah and Noah will do the same. They said to him, you are the servant of Allah, intercede for us. Don't you see the trouble we are? He says, don't you see what misfortune has overtaken us? He would say, verily my Lord is angry. And today he had never been angry before. I would never be angry afterward. There had a minted curse from me, which I had, I, I curse my people. I am concerned only for myself. So every one of them have a problem. Then they will go. Who was next? Then they will go after that to Abraham. And they will say to him, Ibrahim. This is how they call him in Arabic. Uh, Don't you see what happened to us? Intercede for us. He will say, huh, Allah is so angry today. And I did lie, three lies. I am concerned only of myself. Ibrahim will say, I would mention his, uh, that Allah, he will mention his lies. So Abraham in Islam is a big fat liar. And I am concerned only about myself. So Ibrahim is worried about himself. He don't care for others. And then they will come to Moses. And then they will ask Moses to answer and intercede. And then Moses will do the same. They will say to him, don't you see how bad things become? Please intercede for us, for Allah. He will say to them, don't you see how Mr. Blah, 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 blah. And he says to them, uh, verily, my Lord is angry. And he had never been angry before and would never be angry afterward. In fact, I killed the person who whom I had not been ordered to kill. So Moses is a killer. Okay, then they will go to Jesus. Where is the Abdul? Where is the Abdul who is challenging me? Abdul, are you there? We are not changing topic. We are showing you that the only one who have no sin is Jesus. Read carefully what your prophet said. This is your prophet in the story. The guy who is eating the goat is your prophet. Not the goat. The one who is eating the goat is your prophet. Read carefully. Then they will go to Jesus. And they will say to Jesus, Thou art the messenger of Allah. Thou conversed with the people in the cradle. You spoke to them in the cradle. And you are the word of God. Which he sent down to Mary. And you are the spirit of him. He is what? He is the word of God and he is the spirit of Allah. How he can be a sinner, you stupid? You just said the spirit of Allah is a sinner. You just said the word of Allah is a sinner. In the top of that, look, so intercede for us with the Lord. And then Jesus will say to them, don't you see? Jesus says, verily, my Lord is angry and he had never been angry before or would never be angry afterward. He mentioned no sin of his. Do you see it, guys? People, do you see it? He mentioned no sin of his. Who is the one saying that? Muhammad. Where is the Abdul who said that whoever say that Jesus is not a sinner is a liar? That is your prophet. When I showed you the Quran, I showed you the Hadith. I showed you both. So are you saying to me your prophet is a liar in the Hadith? See, everyone, he mentioned his sin. Even the Quran mentioned the sin of Muhammad. The Quran says Jesus is holy. The Quran says Muhammad is a sinner.
This is your Quran. And Jesus, because he have no sin, he mentioned no sin of him because he never commits sin. He is the spirit of Allah. He is the word of Allah. Shame on you. But I will tell you why you say that. Because you are stupid. I mean, why am I expecting you to be smart? Aren't you following Muhammad? How somebody believe that there is a God, he will give him a woman, her bum is one mile side, is smart. I mean, that is stupid of me actually to believe. In, there, is, there is somebody, he believe in such a cult, is smart. It's my fault. Why am I expecting you to be smart? You are a person who believe that there's a God who is a shin. You accept the Quran only? Here we go. This is the Quran only. <laughs> is that Quran? Or yellow pages? And who are you to accept Quran only? Do you think this is a restaurant and we have a menu for you? You are a Muslim. You have to follow what Muhammad say. Isn't it the Quran says to you, you obey what the Prophet said? Which means you have to follow the Hadith. Right? Do we have any Muslim? So here you see that Muhammad is telling a story. Uh, he, uh, he is mentioning the story to see how amazing he is. He is the one to be the, the leader. I mean, look how stupid this story is. If Jesus have no sin, so why he will not be able to intercede? And Muhammad is a person of sin. Abraham have sin. Adam have sin. Noah has sin. Moses has sin. And Muhammad has sin. And the Quran confirmed that. The only one who has no sin in the Quran and in the Hadith is Jesus. So did we get you busted, Abdul, or not yet? And how a man he can be holy? You tell me. I'm not holy. If there's anyone here is holy, there's no holy man. There's no holy man. The Bible says all men, all women, they are sinners. Only God is not, and that is Jesus. Muhammad said, if every son of an Adam is a sinner, but Jesus, this is why Jesus is not the son of Adam. And who is the one who said that Jesus has no sin? That is the prophet of the Babdul. Jesus, he spoke about the smallest seed. He got it wrong. Well, you know what? Just to show you how stupid you are again. I mean, this is why I say Muslims are really, I don't know. Look like Allah, he is doing wrong shopping in Black Friday. He purchased the wrong Muslims. So you are saying to me that Jesus, he have wrong. Uh, and he speak about the small seed. Uh, no, he was not wrong. How 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 that make him wrong? But I will go with your logic. I will go with your logic. Jesus was speaking about what people they use in their houses, the smallest seed they have. This is what you say to me, everybody will be laughing at you. In a second. Why? Because this is in the Quran, you idiot. This is in the Quran. But because you are like your prophet ignorant you do not know let us go to the yellow pages of muhammad and love together <laughs> read it abdul read it and laugh at yourself Are you there, Abdul? Is that what your Quran copying of what Jesus said? Is that the master seed you are laughing about? I cannot prove it. You go to the Quran. I mean, look how stupid you are. 
So if you are making fun of Jesus for saying about the master seed, and then we find that Muhammad is saying the same and his God saying the same, and obviously this is a theft. Jesus came 600 years before Muhammad. Why Muhammad is using the same teaching of Jesus putting it in the Quran? Especially if it's wrong. It doesn't say smallest. No, it, it says smallest because it says even if it's in the weight of master seed, which means the smallest, even if it was that. This is this is what Jesus said. <laughs> Jesus saying, this is what they have in their houses, actually, you know, people what they use. So he's comparing to them how small things is between your hand, even if it's that thing. But Allah here saying comparing the sin. That your sin, huh? your sin will be weighted. Even if it is a master seed. If so, if this is not a small, the smallest, to so why he is mentioning this? What, what about he say if, if, if it's a rock? What about he say even if it's an apple? Why he mentioned the master seed? Because it's so small. So he's claiming that it is the smallest. And we can go right now and read the interpretation, and you will see they are saying it is the smallest. Do we have who's next? Who's next? Anyone? Now is the is the streaming is doing good guys? I'm using right now a free software. I, I bought a gadget. I tried to use it, but it's asked me to update my computer software. And I cannot do that because I have many uh, software. I will lose them if I update uh, the software of my computer. So I hope it's working fine. This one is for free. Any Mohammedan? Who is going to call me and get me busted? Allah Akbar? Yeah, Allah Akbar. Right. For sure he's Akbar. He was a big idol. The word Akbar in Arabic means big, bigger. When you say that Allah is Akbar, obviously you are comparing him to something like him because you cannot compare the unique to none. You have to compare him from the same kind. The second you say Akbar, it means you are comparing him to something else. Well, you are comparing him to what? You tell me, a camel? To me? Allah is Akbar from what? You see, guys, if we have two apples, we say this apple is bigger than this apple. We don't compare apple to a donkey. Otherwise, people will laugh at us. So when the Muslim they say Allahu Akbar, Akbar in Arabic is the biggest, not only, or sorry, they say the, the, uh, bigger, not biggest. In Arabic you say, in English you have big and bigger and biggest, right? So Allah is bigger, not, uh, not biggest. Allah is bigger, bigger from who? Why churches adding verses into the Bible? Here we go. No churches can add verses. Let me let me block you. I have no time for kids. Do we have any adult, any Muslim adult here? Can somebody call the dad of this guy? I mean, I do. I stay fasting all day to debate a Muslim, and when I go in line, I get a kid. And let me ask you: Why Allah allowing people to add verses to the Bible? Isn't it this is His Bible? What Allah is doing? He's sleeping, he's snoring. Hey Allah, wake up. There's people adding verses to your Bible, Allah. I don't care. Let them add. But isn't it the Bible? Is the Bible of Allah? And here you see the hypocrisy of the Muslims. If the Bible is the Bible of Allah, why Allah allowed them people to add back to the Bible of Allah verses? Huh? Is that my problem or the problem of Allah? This is the book of Allah, brother. Isn't it Allah who said that he sent the Injil, brother? 
So the injil is the injil of Allah, brother. So why Allah is not protecting the injil, brother? What the problem, brother? Allah have a weakness in the software. Somebody is hacking his injil, brother. This is how Muslims, they shoot their God in his bum. They claim that this God is the one who sent this book. And yet they claim that this God, he cannot protect his book. You made me laugh. Every day is a dark. Every day, there's a new verse it added to the Bible. And the Christians, they are corrupting the Bible. Uh, Zach and I, uh, just hold on, question. Isn't it this is the book of Allah? So why he's allowing them to corrupt his book? First of all, you are a liar. And Allah don't allow them. But you just say the Christian corrupting the Bible. They are corrupting the corrupted Bible. Ah, but the corrupted Bible, which they corrupted, is it corruption of the original one? Exactly. But that's mean the original one is corrupted. No, it's not corrupted. So where is the original Bible? It's corrupted. But you just said it's not corrupted. It's not corrupted. So where is the original Bible? It's corrupted. Go ahead, find it. This is the this is the, the, the drama of the Muhammadan. And the Muslim they will be sitting like Wow, brother Zach and Naik, you're so smart. Unbelievable. Brother, you are the best. And then they will bring uh, Mimi Hijab, he will say, Silence me. Answer me. You know, what is missing is to wear a skirt. Which is that? What this move in your hands like this and silence me and silence me. Answer me. Okay, here we go. Who wanna silence me and answer me? How this is the book of Allah, yet Allah, he don't want to protect the book of Allah. Hello? What do you think? Do we have any Muhammadan? So this cult is full of problems and Muhammad, he could not keep his mouth shut. And the funny, the verse in front of us, it says, confirming what is with them, not was sent before them. Look at the first translation. It says, نَزَّلَ عَلَيْكَ الْكِتَابَ بِالْحَقِّ مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ Like how he confirmed what is between his hand, you idiot. Yet is corrupted. And then in the translation, they say, what was sent before it, brother? Well, it says that. It doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. But anyway, we have to show respect. Brother Zakir Naik is a very, very big scholar. By the way, I bought a mirror and I bought a comb. So if I debate Muhammad Hijab, I'm going to camp my beard like him in the table. I will hold my beard and start camping. And then I will go to the stage and I will act like a real man. Silence me. Answer me. I'm like, huh, what? And then the, <clears throat> and then, uh, uh, the crowd will be like, wow. Did you hear what he said? Silence me. Answer me. That's it. This is this is the this is the, like this is the hit in the nose. So who wanna call me and hear and uh, silence me? Any Mohammedan? What do you mean? It's Black Friday. Get a brain. My friend, Muslim brain is the most expensive one. It's never been used. Brand new. There's nothing. If you open the brain there, there's nothing except virgins and their women. They, I mean, the guy, he will have 70 years orgasm. I mean, don't you think this is very short? Only 70 years. Why? What about 90 years or 99 years? So I go to visit Zachary Nag. I knock at the door in the heaven. Zakir Naik is uh, doing, you know, business. Uh, Zakir Naik, are you there, brother? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Zakir Naik, what's happening, brother? 
He's holding his dress in his mouth because he's not allowed to get naked, brother. He have to do boom, boom without taking off his clothes. So he cannot answer because his uh, dress is between his teeth. Brother Zakir, I will come second year. I will knock at the door I will, and he will say the same. Mm, mm. He cannot answer. He's holding his dress in his mouth. 10 years after the same. 20 years after the same. 50 years after the same. Still guy, the guy, he did not even finish the orgasm. This is just the orgasm 70 years, not the whole thing. And you are telling me that Muhammad is not a prophet. Are you crazy? You must be having a mental illness problem. Isn't it obvious that this is from God? 70 years orgasm is proven to be scientifically accurate. Especially Arab men like uh, us, you know, we are Arab. We can do it even more. I know like my grandfather, uh, he was born in the year 1020 and he finished his orgasm in the year 2000. And why 70 years? I mean, why this guy is stuck with 70 years? Even the orgasm is 70 years. Jesus, he said the word 70. Muhammad, he started copying the word 70 and he put it everywhere. Hmm? Is that true? 70. Number 7 and number 70 all over. Do we have any? You see how he he copy from the Bible. Do we have any seventy men? The Muslim men they want to call us. So guys, is the is the new software is the quality is it the quality good? Is the sound good? The quality good? Do you have any lack in the video? This is a free software I'm using. You know, I bought uh, I bought one. It's called El Gito. It's a gaming thing, but uh, it's not working. It didn't work. I spent the whole day trying to make it work. And even I did read Quran on the top of it to make it work. That did not work. You believe it? I said to myself, maybe what happened to me is what happened to uh, Prophet uh, Solomon. Anyone remember what happened to Prophet Solomon? Anyone remember? Prophet Solomon, he have 99 goat. 91 in what? Goat. What 99 goat? Are you serious? You have 99 goats and he have sex with them. Are you serious, brother? Yes, brother. Who said that? The Quran. The Quran describes women as goats. And then, brother, the prophet, he decided to have sex with the 99 women, brother, and he will make them all carry a baby in one night. In the morning, will deliver a baby and they will do jihad. And they will go in the bridge of, of London and will start doing stabbing. But the poor uh, prophet, he forgot something. Anyone remember what he forgot to do before he do boom, boom? You remember? You remember? This is a chapter 38, verse number 23. <clears throat> what he forgot? Who remember? He forgot to say, Inshallah. I mean, how? What's wrong with you, man? What's wrong with you? How you? Forget to say, Inshallah. So the poor guy, he have sex with 99 goat, I mean wives. And then he forget to say before he do boom, boom, Inshallah. So Allah, he gave him only half baby. You can hear a uh, sound. Maybe this is from the microphone. I'm not sure. This is a free software. What I can do? I mean, I will. I will try to do some tweaking in the. 
who are using a free software. Do we have any uh, Muhammadan? And if you don't believe me, Muhammadan, I can show you the hadith. Huh? I can show you the hadith. <clears throat> this is why me, if you go to my bedroom, I have a big, big, big sign in the top of the bed, brother. It says, Inshallah. I'm not going to get married and have boom, boom, spend the night doing hard work, and then I forgot to say, Inshallah. So this is what I will do. I put inshallah in the wall, inshallah in the ceiling, inshallah in the bed, inshallah in the sheet, and even I will write in the chest of my wife, inshallah, so I will not forget. Otherwise, we will have a half baby. And what half baby mean? He have only nose. I'm going to find I'm going to sign in a dating website and I will put in the in the profile I'm looking for a woman it's written in her chest inshallah and uh, if if you have the word inshallah written in different location that will be uh, uh, like a, bo uh, a bonus I'm, I'm using OBS my friend I'm using OBS this is obvious but look like there's this uh, issue with the sound I don't know <clears throat> any Muslim he want to say to us inshallah and by the way if uh, is that why Muhammad the uh, uh, children never live because he forgot to say inshallah I mean look at the stupidity if the word inshallah is the one will give you the baby that means Muhammad he never said inshallah before he do boom boom Hmm? <clears throat> Anyone? So, picture of that half baby, you mean the hadith? Uh, the hadith uh, hey, hold on <clears throat> all right True story. Yeah, this is actually about Suleiman. All right, hold on. Let us see the hadith. Here we go. There's many, you know, the numbers can be very, like here it says 90. Here it says how many? Uh, 70. Look, 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 look how Muhammad, he can't even repeat the, story, the same story twice correctly. I will certainly have boom, boom with 70 wives. In this hadith it says 90. You see, just to change the hadith, the number is changed. All right? Here it's a hundred women, not minus one. One hundred women. You see the numbers have they changed because he's a liar. He cannot repeat the same story without lying. One place he says seventy. One place he say ninety. One place he say one hundred. One place he say ninety nine. So he did have, uh, you know, he have boom boom, and then he forget to say inshallah. If Allah will, inshallah. But Suleiman, he said, no, I forgot to say that. 
Then he had sexual relation with them, but none of them deliver any child except one who deliver half person. Do you see what happened to you if you don't say inshallah? You have a half person. True story. Are you going to say to me now the Prophet was lying? And now why I know there is six billion human being, they have a human being, their children, and they are fine. Are they saying, inshallah, brother? Any Muhammadan? Any admin in the chat? No, today is Black Friday. The admins are busy buying, doing shopping. They are buying. They are buying uh, 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 Victoria's Secret for uh, Suleiman because uh, he told them that he today is going to have boom boom with his wives. So we send them to do shopping because Prophet Suleiman he don't he cannot have sex unless they are wearing some uh, special panties, halal panty. They have to be halal. Anyone? Is that a convincing story for you? So this is the guy who you take against Jesus. This is like this is the wise Muhammad who teach you stories against Jesus, and you take you take him seriously. This is the man who one point two three billion, they take him seriously. I mean, what kind of one point three billion that they are? How in the world I can take this man seriously? Now I know the dog of our neighbor, she gave birth to a half, 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 half uh, puppy. Because the dog, he did boom, boom with her. He forgot to say, inshallah. Make sense. Make sense. Make a lot of sense. This is your prophet, and this is your God, and this is the wisdom, and this is what Islam is about. Fiction, stupid stories. Who is a Muslim want to say to me, really, I, Islam is a, is a is a religion of the truth? Who want to say that word to me? Islam is religion of the truth. Anyone? Anyone? Any two? Forget about anyone. I'm, I'm making the wrong mistake. If you say anyone, then Allah will answer because He is anyone. Any shin. You see, how God can be a man, but how God can be a shin? I mean, you are questioning how Jesus, He can be God, for He is coming in a perfect shape. As a man, but you are not to question how God can be God, but yet he is a shin. Shinni 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 shunu. Shananana shananunu. A brother and sister. When we go to the heaven, brother, we are going to see the shin of Allah. A brother, is the shin of Allah is it beautiful? Exactly. It's very sexy. It is sexy and you know it. So Jesus cannot be God because he was a man. Allah can be God because he's a shin. Hmm. Now I know why men, they like to look at the shin of women. Maybe Allah was a female. Because there is no way his shin will be ugly. It must be a nice shin. This is only can be found between women, Shin. God is a Shin. By the way, this is in the Quran. The Quran says that Allah is going to strip. Not only he is a Shin, he is going to show his Shin. I've never been in Strapteza Club before. But look like I have to go in the Judgment Day.
Chapter 68, verse number 42. Yawma yukshafu an saqin. And look, they put for you the word shin with capital letter because you need to show respect. This is the shin of Allah. This is not any shin. Do you see how the word shin in capital letter? Right? Uh, no, no, Fadi Harun. This is your, th th you, those articles are articles written by fool. Because when Jesus, he preached, you see, Paul never contradict what Jesus said. Never, never, never. The grace, you see, because you don't even know what the grace mean. The grace of Jesus, that's mean we don't deserve. We don't deserve to go to heaven. This is why he says, whoever believe in me and I will live. But not because we deserve. Not because of our deeds. But yet our fruits is required. So it is your foolishness that you are reading articles written by a bunch of fool. What about you make the one who wrote the article to call me so we can laugh? Only stupid people, they think, you see, they fabricate things. It's not exist even in the Bible. Everything is by the grace of the Lord to go to heaven. But the fruit, the fruit is not will what will make me go to heaven. But the fruit is a proof that I am a truthful and I am a true believer. That's why Jesus said, from their fruits, you shall know them. But it's not their fruit will take them to heaven. This is why Jesus said to the thief in the cross next to him. Because the guy he repent. I mean, what, what a fruit this guy he have? Nothing. But by the grace of the Lord, he burdened him. Is that correct? The one who have a problem is you, reading a bunch of fools speaking against Jesus. Do we have anyone? Everything is by the grace of the Lord. Otherwise, we don't deserve. How a person who is a sinner, he will go to heaven. For what? For, for what exactly? How you will go to heaven? What you accomplished, what you did nothing your your life is a all of it is full of sin your brain is full of sin your thought jesus said that if you you sin by your eye and we sin by our eye every day so it's if it's about uh, we deserve we don't deserve is a long life a christian missionary my friend is an idiot he, he just said he left a christianity so how he is long life uh, so he is he's not a christian let me ask you, how this idiot, he was long life a Christian missionary, and yet he left the Christianity. That means he was a donkey all his life. I do not need to prove to you that he's the donkey, because if you are a long life a Christian all your life, you did not discover what he just said in the article, until he became like, he, he spent his life to discover this, as he claimed. That means he's a donkey. This is something we can find out if it's true or not in half hour. I do not need to spend my life to be Christian to know what Jesus teach and what Paul teach. And anyone can claim to be, you know, Yusuf uh, State, he used to claim, he, he claimed that he was a minister for the youth. But which church? We never heard of it. Maybe the article written by a Muslim. However, I challenge you and the one who wrote the article to come to me to call me life and we will love together. I mean, the Bible is there. 
and what he is saying is there right you see I can present to you a page and I can come to you with the meaning it's not there the first thing you need to do if you want to prove a point is to prove it is wrong based in what those who follow this book believe not it your belief as an example if I want to debate Jehovah's Witnesses I debate them about their belief and then I compare it with my belief so I don't claim that they are saying something is not there and the same for the Muslims I don't claim something I show them Ibn Kathir I show them Al-Qurtubi I show them Al-Tabari I show them what the Prophet explanation so when you want to understand the Bible you don't go by somebody he is an ex-Christian saying to you this is what it's mean And coming with the conclusion as if his own creation but if he can prove to us that this is what the Christians really believe then he got a point you know what I mean guys if somebody wrote an article and he says this is what the Christian believe and this is obviously wrong and then we agree with him that there is something wrong there obviously there is something wrong that's it nobody can deny it but you don't fabricate a meaning there and it's not there the whole Bible is speak about one thing my friend here we go you are advertising for his book that's all you know why a divorce Christianity even even the title is stupid just go go I don't want to see you in my in my channel It challenged him to call us life on air. Why a divorce? As if a Christianity is wife. Stupid. I mean, the name is telling you something wrong. Same time, let us say for the sake of argument, as you claim, Paul, he says something, Jesus, he says something. Well, we follow Jesus anyway. I mean, how silly it is to be stupid. Let us say I am Paul and I say something in totally disagreement with Jesus teaching no Christian will follow Paul I guarantee you but because nowhere Paul disagree with Jesus it is totally the opposite and Paul the one you are talking about he paid his life to prove that Jesus is God So it's a very stupid argument to say that Paul contradict Jesus. Very stupid. Where is all the disciples of Jesus and all those millions who they read the Bible every day? Only him he discovered that Paul this the contradict Jesus. Only him. Use your intelligence if you have any. Right? You see, the first one who will speak against Paul then is the Christians. The Christian they worship Jesus, not Paul. Paul is no one. You know what no one means? He is no one. We don't worship Paul. We don't follow Paul. No Christian follow Paul. No Christian follow Peter. No Christian follow John. No Christian follow Luke. We don't follow them. We follow Jesus. So if any of us ever he says something against the teaching of Jesus, Christianity will spit us out. And Paul is no different. So it's very stupid statement. Do we have any Muhammadan? But I can take any statement and I say this is here contradicting what Jesus said. Like, you know, like when a, when a Muslim, he says, in one verse in the Bible says the angels said, and the other verse says the angels said. 
in one verse says that uh, the, that there's a man he carried the cross of Jesus and the different verse says that there is Jesus he carried the cross there's no contradiction one of them is telling you what happened in the road with more details one with less details at the end of the day as yes, Jesus is the one who carried his cross But if you are looking for excuse, you will find it. Right? This is the whole point. You are just looking for excuse. You are not reading the book. You are trying to find your own way to, to, uh, uh, to disapprove it. And why, you know, why we see it and we, uh, why we defend it, if it's true. I mean, why me, myself, I would defend something wrong? Well, you think you have a brain, we don't have a brain? You know, we are a Christian and nobody will cut our head if we leave a Christianity. This is, I'm, I'm not, I'm not like a Muslim, I have, to, I have to defend because I have no other choice, otherwise they will kill me. I can leave. Who is forcing me to be Christian? Do we have any Muslim? Anyway, forget about this guy, Fadi. I blocked him. I don't want him here. You see, I have no patience for kids. Either you bring me the guy who said so, or don't mention it. Or you call me. And you prove me wrong. But you judge what that, that Jesus he have any problem because of a stupid guy he made a book. Are you serious? A smart, intelligent person, let us say you read a book and you, you agree with the book. That means this is your idea now. You call me and you prove it. But don't be a potato coward, hide by behind the text and says, there's a guy who wrote a book. As long as you agree with him, call me and show me what he said and let us laugh. And let us see if we can answer you or not. Maybe we cannot answer you. Maybe you are the hero. Right? But all, all you know, all the point of those people, like sometimes I, I feel that people are, they have uh, they suffer from immature brain. It's like somebody is just born yesterday. His brain is just learn how to function. There's a very academic way in order to prove or disapprove. So let us say somebody, he was a Christian all his life, or he, even he was a bishop, or he was the Pope. And tomorrow he left the Christianity. That will not change anything. We have to see, look, we have the text. The text he is the text which making him leave it is in front of me, and I don't see what he's saying. I don't see it. Then that's mean he have the problem, not me. Because there's no way that all of us we will not see it and they will see it, especially we Christians. We are free. We are free to leave, all of us over one night. We can leave a Christianity over one day. And actually, we welcome people to say anything they want. But you have to prove it. You know, I, I notice there is, there is many people, they have mental illness. And sometimes they try to revenge from God. You know, he faced depression. Something happened to him. He, you know, he blamed God for it. And then he will not seek revenge. So he make okay, we'll go. We are laughing. When we go live on air and we say who wanna call us and we challenge you. Isn't it telling you the story? That somebody I mean I will not be challenging unless I am very sure. Let me open my Skype, maybe somebody he wanna challenge me. Maybe we got lucky tonight. 
Actually, it's 2, 12 a.m. in the morning now. <coughs> All right. Let's see. Uh, just to give you an example just to give you an example of a stupidity all right there we go someone post for me in skype the following <laughs> Let me open the verses first. Just to show you the comedy we 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 have every day. It's a comedy, uh, you know. Give me a second. <sighs> All right. Somebody says to me, and I will show you in the uh, in Skype the question. So we can laugh together. Just an example how people they understand things in the way they want because simply they decide to make things up. This is the question. The Arabian prophet smoke rose from his nostrils, concerning fire from his mouth, burning coals a blizzard out of it, some. CP, why Yahweh he have no stress? <laughs> oh boy. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You see, the stupidity is beyond the imagination. This guy, he's asking why God has a nose. But it doesn't say that. This guy is meditating about his God. This guy, he is speaking about I, I pray for my Lord. I call upon my Lord, worthy to praise, so shall be saved from, the, from, my, from my enemies. And then he speak about uh, the mountains are surrounding me, my enemies are surrounding me. I call my Lord, I call my God. In his temple, my voice go into his ears, but this is this is this is a metaphorical of what he is. You know, he's saying that my Lord, he listened to me. This is not about a nose and an ear, you idiot. And by the way, Jesus have nose. <laughs> You can't say, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry, it's my mistake. <coughs> Hold on. Okay, let me show you his question first. It's my fault. Arabian prophet, smoke rose from his uh, nostrils, a concerning fire came from his mouth, burning coals blazed out of it. Psalm 18.8 CP, why Yahweh have <laughs> heaven knows? <laughs> <laughs> you see this is exactly what we are talking about so if you are looking for excuse you will find it 
this is really real do you think really this is what the verse is saying that there's a smoke coming from god knows why he's a dragon he's a he have a fire inside i mean this is your stupidity literally your stupidity Uh, let us call this guy. He is online. Well, it says he is uh, online, but it says unavailable. Why is that? Call decline. Decline. What happened to the brave man? What happened? All right. Forget it then. We will block you. I don't have time for kids. Who is next? It's the same like in Song of Song. Uh, somebody will say to you, this is a sexual, uh, you know, this is a king making a poetry and speaking about the city of Jerusalem. This is have nothing to do with the breast, have nothing to do with legs, have you ever heard of a breast have grass growing on them? <laughs> so if you want to play stupid, you play stupid. It's not my, none of my business. You see, your stupidity is welcome. But anyone who read this, he will know that this person is speaking about his Lord, praising his Lord, what happened to him. But this is not about God have a smoke coming from his nose. That's about God. He's showing them that my God is upset, angry from you. What nose and what smoke? This is really what you see? There went up a smoke out of his nostrils, and fire out of his mouth, devoured the clothes with kindred by it. Even the book, it's called the song. You know. But as I said, you know, when you have, when you have a, a stupidity, I mean, you can fabricate the mean as you wish. You can make it really. This is what the Christian believed. The Christian believed that there's God. The same as we see in the movie, you know, he have he there's mouth there's fire come from his uh, mouth, and there's his nose there's smoke coming. This is a cartoon, but this is not what the verse is saying. This is a person meditating about his God. He's a prophet speaking about speaking about his God. When he, what what he think about his God and what he what he prays about him. Any Muslim? Anyone? <clears throat> As the Jewish Kabbalah like an you know, stupid question. Somebody is asking if the Jewish they have the same. The Jewish they pray toward Jerusalem. The Jewish they pray toward Jerusalem. Uh, because this is where the temple of God he was built supposedly right. But uh, uh, the prayer of the Jews toward Jerusalem like they used to go and fight out of Jerusalem. In the front of the walls of Jerusalem. And when they want to pray they pray toward Jerusalem, which means they turn their back to the city. Yeah, this, the Jews, they have that, but they don't have Kaaba. And they don't have a praying in that direction uh, as the Muslim they, they do. Because simply, you cannot face Jerusalem unless you are next to Jerusalem. <coughs> Let us see Muhammad Qasim, he said. My conclusion, the Prophet, okay. 
I did some research and I asked we, we asked Muhammad Qasim a, a question before if you remember and I gave him five years to give me the answer and look he gave me an answer I do some research and I asked the scholars my conclusion is the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam have seen the throne of Allah in his journey <laughs> okay what is the con conclusion you have to give me the, the hadith conclusion guys I have a conclusion my conclusion I mean you see they debate us by their conclusion we say to them show us reference give us a proof they say, they say to us conclusion <clears throat> any Muslim have conclusion wanna call us the religion of conclusion where in the Quran it says the Holy Spirit is Jibreel conclusion it's a conclusion where in the Quran we find the word Tawheed it's a conclusion right Where in the Quran we can find that Allah He order you to change the orders of the chapters? In this case, they will not say it's a conclusion. They say we do not know. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to call us? We have Ustad here. Where is Ustad? Do we have Ustad in the chat? I always want to meet him. I always, all my life, I want to take a picture with Ustad. I want to take a selfie. I bought a phone. Finally, I'm an Arab. I got a phone. Actually, my grand grandfather is the first one who took a selfie with his camel. True story. Who is the Ustad here? Do we have any Ustad? Look at those who stand. Those who stand, they go in the stage and they keep saying, Alhamdulillah, Bismillah, MashaAllah. The second you ask him a question, he have no idea. And they work hard to grow a beard because you cannot be a stand without a beard. And look at this guy. This guy is not even, how old is he? This guy is a, this, look at this guy. This, this guy is Ustad. How old those guys are? Did they finish high school first? This guy is Ustad. This guy is Ustad. This guy is Ustad. This guy, he did not finish the nursing room yet. I mean, look in the Indonesia, look like they call anyone Ustad. As long as he, did, he called himself Ustad, we call him Ustad. How old this guy he is? Is he 20 years old? This is Ustad? Ustad Riza Muhammad? How are you, Riza? <laughs> oh boy. Look like everybody Ustad except me. When I'm going to call my mom and tell her, Hey mom, I became Ustad. And she will say to me, Did you go to Indonesia? I will say, uh, Tamara says because my son you are very young to be Ustad look at this Ustad the one in the left those are kids <coughs> can you what can you mood I don't understand. Do we have any Muhammadan want to call us? Anyone? Who is a Muhammadan proud of his religion want to call us?
No, I cannot be Ustad. I mean, this is a... You, you see, in the Middle East, if when they call Ustad somebody, it's to make fun of him, which means he's a, don he's a donkey. Honestly, if you are not a teacher in school and you call somebody Ustad, that's mean you are calling him a donkey. You can ask any Middle Eastern. Any Middle Eastern. The only one we can call him Ustad is a teacher in a school. So, if you are not a teacher in a school and people call you Ustad, literally... They are calling you a donkey. We blessed need a worm, worm. We are blessed needs. I don't understand. Is that English? Is that a guy? His name is We Are Blessed. I have no idea what does that mean. Make, make a full sentence for me so I can understand. User, we are blessed. What about him? You are saying to me, can I talk to him? Is he a Muslim? <clears throat> is the guy <clears throat> we are blessed is a Muslim ah oh, you are saying to me can you make him a moderator <laughs> it took me half hour to understand what they want me to do alright look like Jibreel is not inspiring me today I don't know who is this person. Who is this person? We will see. Do we have any Muhammadan? <clears throat> well, next time, if you want me to understand something, you need to squeeze me. This is what Jibreel he do. Any Muhammadan here want to say something? <clears throat> Ustad, not Ustaz. Hey, my friend, this is because they are ignorant, because Ustaz is the correct word, not Ustad. See, they are trying to copy the Arab. So they copy a wrong word. There's nothing that's called in Arabic Ustad. It is Ustad. The Indonesian Muslim, they were praying to the Kaaba for more than a thousand years for the wrong direction. They were playing they were praying to Africa. <clears throat> Is that correct? Where was the Ustad at that time? All of them. All those years, the Ustad of Indonesia, they were praying to the house of Al Qazafi. You can search right now in Google and you will find that Indonesian were praying for thousands of years, for more than a thousand years, I think, to the wrong direction. Well, no problem if you don't speak fluent. We can translate. No problem. That's not an excuse. Anyway. So are we out of them? Are we out of Muhammadan? Why wrong direction? Because, uh, you know, it's funny. I mean, how the people, thanks to the GBS of America, they found that that's, this is wrong. I mean, the, the American is the one who made this uh, correct their mistake. Otherwise, they were praying to the wrong uh, Kaaba. Let me find it for you in the news, because people might say I am, I'm making things up. Indonesian praying 
to wrong direction. Let us see what we will find in Prophet Google. Peace upon him. And this is not a lo not 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 long time ago. This is 2010, which means just 19 years ago. Until 19 years ago, the Muhammadan in Indonesia they were praying to the wrong Kaaba in Somalia. Here it says facing Somalia. Do you see it? After 1,000 years praying to Somalia, they found that it was not the Kaaba. Do you see it? Where was the Ustad all this time? Where was Allah? Where was Allah? Why Allah did not inspire one of them? Inspire just one Muslim to correct it. Those poor Muslim, their prayer went to the wrong direction. This is entered 2010. You see, July 19, 2010. This is the news date. It would be more embarrassing if they are praying toward uh, uh, San Francisco. Ali Muhammadan? All right. I think we are done for today. Don't forget, guys, to download the videos. Uh, those videos they disappear always when you learn when you learn for uh, like uh, let's say you want to come back for a video I, I made before uh, subscribe to the channels with those who they are downloading my videos and the best way to find the video search for the same title after a few hours and filter in the last let's say 24 hours in the search engine in YouTube and you will find it all right uh, <clears throat> because I don't keep uh, videos in my channel for a reason that uh, YouTube they love me they love me a lot YouTube a lot they love me yeah how can Allah have a son when he does not have a girlfriend that is a such a uh, yeah no actually when this when Allah he says how Allah can have a son Allah questioning what? Question his ability. So how he can be God? You see, do you see the word how can? How can? Can is what? It's about ability. How I can? How I can? So if you ask me, did you eat the elephant? I say, how I can eat an elephant and I have a small stomach? Makes sense. So here it's about I can or I cannot. So Allah saying he cannot. Very simple. So he's saying he's cannot, he cannot be God too. Because the second you say, how can he, and Allah saying that, that's mean he cannot be God too, because God is called Almighty, for he can do anything. There's nothing, there's nothing that says he can, he cannot. All right? Anyway, so search after a few hours for the same title. You will find it in different videos, different channels, and you can download them and share them with your friends. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. And uh, until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord. Islam is funny. Made by a dummy for the dummy. See ya.